Oh my god, this is... <laughs> I am currently holding a UMP-45 from Modern Warfare 2 in Halo 4. And some would even argue this might have been the original intention of the game. So there was a mod that recently came out that lets you utilize multiple weapons from the Call of Duty franchise and various loadouts within Call from Call of Duty and then put that into Halo 4. So I thought, why not give it a try? Oh god! And right, we got up just fine. Oh my gosh, it's an elite. Cue them quick melee. Get them out of here. Get out of here. All right, now we're finally gonna get a chance to actually shoot this UMP. Wonder if they actually transport the sound effects or it's gonna be Halo sound effects. Let's see if we can like sneak up on this elite real quick though first. Like, wait, how do you melee in this? Q? There we go. That's weird. Okay, well we got the assassination move. They know we're here. Oh my god, and it's silence. This sounds just like it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just as it shipped 10 years ago. UMP with a reflex? Oh my god. There's a red dot sight on it. <laughs> also, your jump is greatly reduced. And also, there's no clambering in Halo 4. It just feels weird. It's like somewhat current day Halo, but also not at the same time. I want to see what it looks like ADS with, uh, with this right here. Oh wait, no, that's not how you ADS in this game. That's right. <laughs> I literally just pressed in the left trigger to try to ADS like it's Call of Duty here. It may seem what the visuals of just a gun can make you change your gameplay. I feel like it would be hilarious if the Covenant had Call of Duty weapons as well. This is absolutely hilarious. I love this mod so much. It's crazy that this is even possible and like the reload animations work perfectly as well. Oh my god, I just realized I have a 1911 as a backup weapon as well. <laughs> See how powerful this thing is. Oh, you don't get de-scoped. Watch this. I can take damage and I don't get de-scoped like true Call of Duty fashion here. That's one thing I've always liked more in Halo than Call of Duty is that, yeah, like the de-scope effect is definitely, in my opinion, the best way to handle when it comes to taking damage from enemy players. I've never liked flinch because it adds just a sense of randomness to it. Like de-scope, it's predictable and helps kind of reset gunfights in a way. When you don't have de-scope, it just like allows people to kind of just hold the trigger and then just kind of wait for the best thing to happen for them. Like right here, just kind of keep shooting. No consequences for just standing out in the open and taking damage. And so here's the thing, your movement speed is drastically slowed down as well as well as your jump like this is my full jump it's like three times gravity that's on right now with master chief it's hilarious i feel so slow in this game right now <laughs> for like a call of duty variant of like a needler i don't think there's any kind of like heat seeking weapons really right also it's like some weird jab jump pack version of call of duty i just never played because i ain't about that life this definitely mimics like a grenade launcher so you know it would have to be like a noob tube machine right here <gasps> oh my god it's an m4 Yes! <laughs> this is amazing with an A cog scope on it. <laughs> oh, it's a burst rifle version? Okay. This feels so wrong, but oddly right at the same time. Because I always felt like Halo 4 was like really trying its best to go for that Call of Duty audience and just could never really capture it. I always felt like 343 had like a really awkward middle ground when it came to Halo 4, right? Where like Halo fans didn't like Halo 4 because it played like Call of Duty. And Call of Duty fans didn't like Halo 4 because it also played like Halo. So ultimately, it didn't really please anybody. That's like over time now, especially with like the uh, the typical Halo cycle that we know about where it comes like the game that you grew up playing is the best one out there. And the newest game is the worst one in the game that was previously hated, then becomes loved by everybody. It's definitely something to come that way with Halo 4. But I think overall, people are still not liking the Halo 4 multiplayer, even to this day. But if you are starting to look back now at the, at least the campaign side of things of Halo 4 and actually really enjoy it. Shop, shop the missiles, activate the missiles. This A cog scope is so freaking clunky. It's like, it's actually kind of tough to see. I guess it's like their way of putting the battle rifle into the, this mod. Funny thing is actually when I first started playing Call of Duty back on COD 4, I used to run the M16 all the time, mainly because it acted like the battle rifle from Halo. So I thought it was like a, a logical transition, right? This would help me get into the Call of Duty game a little bit more and god i was awful at cod 4 back in the day back then when you actually like have like accurate stats to represent your skill set rather than being thrown into skill based matchmaking sweat fest like it is nowadays i think my kd was like 0.5 like that was awful 
I knew and I died so much. I was like, okay, I need a rock last stand on my class just so that I have a second chance to get a kill. Like, yeah, I was that guy. All right, shoot. Sure. Activate the missiles. Oh my God. You can see it on his back as well. <laughs> Oh my god, there's limited sprint as well. You get tired after sprinting for so long like it was in classic Call of Duty. <laughs> um, I'm sure that the timer in this game wasn't designed for sprint limitations, so we'll, like, we'll get to the spot in time. Uh, okay, yeah, so far, yes. This is giving me like that Mono for 2 scene when they were in favela trying to run away from all the explosions and bad guys and like... They're like, so make the jump to the helicopter. But this time it's cheap and you know, cheap can make the jump just fine. Uh, make that jump. Okay, good. Oh my God, this sprint out time is so annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the splash screen. <laughs> Gotta say as well, if you guys like these kind of mod videos, make sure to tap like. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And maybe if it gets enough attention, we get uh, like a live stream of the whole playthrough. I mean, that would be kind of fun, right? I like the live stream on the channel here. Dude, not gonna lie, this game still holds up. Like what, this came out in 2012 on the Xbox 360? And the game actually still looks pretty good. Like, yeah, you got your washed out textures, but like, especially this scene, like this looks good. If I remember correctly, I think Halo 4 won like best graphics or something like that. Oh my God, this sprint out time is so incredibly annoying. You only get to sprint for like a couple seconds and you have to stop, Ugh. especially with the level design in the campaign. Like you're meant to sprint through this section and you just have to do it like every five seconds. It's so annoying. I just love how the reload animations are just stripped straight from Call of Duty. Also, you're not able to pick up weapons around the ground you can only use modern warfare weapons which let's be real right like whenever you play halo majority of the time you want to use like the human weapons because it just feels more badass like the covenant weapons are cool and all but like you want to use a battle rifle you want to use that magnum you want to use that assault rifle oh here's the big reveal scene Ooh, uh forerunner stuff ermanger we teleported a little further uh now i have a scar on <laughs> my hand oh wait no that's not ads i press left trigger to ads like it's call of duty again oh, i have to hold down left stick to ads oh oh no this ain't good I have to hold down right stick to ADS with this. Oh, uh, we gotta change that right now. Okay, I just looked at the settings. Bad news, I can't find the toggle setting for ADS. So uh, I'm gonna have to hold in the left stick while aiming with this gun. So this is gonna be uh, interesting to say the least. Oh no, I gotta run now with the sprint out time in mind. Oh my God. Okay, let's try out holding in the right stick aim. Oh no. You can see how much is I'm on ADS right here. Ah, this is pain to shoot. Oh God, there we go. This actually hurts my thumb to aim and shoot right now. Now I did see in some of the promotional video stuff for this mod that the intervention, oh God. Uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, what I was trying to say is that I think I saw from some promotional material that like the intervention from Modern Warfare 2 is in this mod as well. Uh, this seemed like they're looking to do other levels. So you only have the first three levels of the game, I think available oh gosh this is impossible to aim uh if i can find a sniper rifle uh yes i would love to be able to shoot with like the intervention i mean come on it's classic call of duty sounds right if it has like the original sound effects as well which i'd hope so that would be absolutely amazing okay i had to switch to universal infinite because like it's literally going to give me carpal tunnel trying to aim with holding down the right stick and shooting at the same time but yeah universal infinite button combo that's on this game basically lets it so then you can kind of have Call of Duty settings or your typical mapped out settings you have for a lot of other shooters on Halo, which I'm sure some purists would hate to see that, but it does allow for better accessibility for new people. Oh my God, look at the size of the regular grenades. <laughs> I totally forgot about the UI changes. I'll look it up or left with that. It just looks like a classic frag grenade. Oh God, I do have a Promethean grenade. Let's see if that actually does anything like, uh, yeah, it has the same animation as the regular frag grenade. <laughs> and the weird thing is like the audio for the scar is like mainly playing through the, the right speaker for me right now. Oh my god, I feel so slow playing this right now. Your movement speed's slower, your ADS time is so much slower. But you got those classic animations for the reload. I mean like this is boomer shooter Kev is just kind of like, oh yeah, I remember these days. <laughs> Back in my day, we had times where we got sprint out. You couldn't just run the entire time. Oh my god, your like strafe speed is so 
so slow. I know I already mentioned, but like, Jesus, man, I feel like I'm running through molasses. And playing it on a controller just makes it feel 10 times worse. But I think that's part of the appeal of just like the cursedness of this entire mod. But honestly, like now, even in Halo Infinite, there is effectively like a scar in the game. I would say the commandos kind of meant to mimic that in a way. Kind of like a long range precision assault rifle like weapon. I mean, and it looks very similar to this as well. I remember when we first had that reveal of Halo Infinite and people were like, it just doesn't look like Halo, but it does at the same time. I don't know. I'm conflicted. Uh, me? Something about uh, Cortana's a problem, sir. Oh my God, the eyeline animations too. <laughs> there's like this weird, there's a long delay right here when it comes to going ADS out of sprint. Not nearly as snappy, but again, I think it's supposed to kind of mimic that Call of Duty feel. I just see Halo and I start playing it like Halo. No, you gotta play this more like Call of Duty, man. <gasps> no way. Yes! <laughs> I found it! Oh my god, look how fast the ADS is too! <laughs> oh, I'm so gonna quick scope with this. Please tell me they have the traditional intervention sound. Oh god, here we go. Oh my god, yes! The quick scopes! Right, let's try this over here. Quick scope! Uh, quick scope! Oh, put that in your montage! Oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh! 360! Oh my god! Yes! Can I one tap a. Uh, Yes, I can. <laughs> Here we go. I'll go for collateral. Oh, it doesn't go through. Boo. Here we go. One, two. Montage. Clip it. Three piece. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. He lived through that. No, not anymore. Oh, come on. This needs to be the freaking Spaz 12, dude. Oh, where is it? Oh, you know I had to wait for that inspect animation. Yeah. I can't tell you how much I love this and how cursed this is at the same time. Like, if I'm able to find a Spaz 12 and use a science UMP at the same time, I mean, that'd be just straight up Mono Warfare 2 meme member berries. Like, oh my god. Time to quick scope like a boss. Ah. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Hey, you. Yeah, get out of here. Quick scope. <laughs> Only quick scope. You can't actually ADS. That's uh, exactly what you're not supposed to do with the intervention. All right, let's throw this grenade at him. No. Oh, my God. That just felt so clean to do that. <laughs> you have unlimited ammo with this as well? Because if so, I mean, it kind of feels like it because I've just been able to shoot like crazy and have no worry about picking up ammo. No, it is limited. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. They have it in the game. The Deagle. All right. We got to use it right here. Oh, my God. That sound effect is perfect for it. <laughs> Can I one tap enemies too? Like, bam. Bam. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get these banshees out of here. Boom. Get wrecked. Why is that too much fun to use? It shouldn't feel that good. There we go. We're going to take out banshees with it. All right. Oh, no, you're not. All right. Look at your little grunt. Now after the little dead grunt, I got digged. Get digged. Oh, so that has a range to it? Oh my gosh, how did I hit that? There we go. Take on this elite with a dig. Oh my gosh! The animation the throw grenade is so slow. I do tapped him. Freaking sprint. God damn it. Why you have to be so slow? Wait, what do I... Wait, what? What's the, why is it blocking me? What do I gotta do? Oh, there's a rule of three. Uh... There we go. Now you should be opened. There we go. One more for good measure. Just had to. What's going on? No! No! 